the council brings together 400 different NGOs. We can come up to white papers or recommendations that we can bring to the Parliamentary Assembly or to the European Commission in Brussels. No organization today can work alone because we, we have belonging to the global movement to try to improve democracy and freedom. I'm very happy to be in this uh, group of people with Iceland, Georgia, uh, Canada and Costa Rica. And I am from Russia, so this is what we are talking about. Uh, democracy, about partnership, about interest to each other. The states do not see exactly what is, uh, uh, what is the problem. And so uh, through the INGO conference we can uh, hear a lot of uh, different uh, opinion and we can uh, exchange with the state about that. The big obstacle for NGO is definitely to be heard. Communication is an obstacle and it's very good for us. It's a big opportunity for us to be here, to raise our voice and uh, give uh, our experience, uh, our day-to-day -day experience, either in Europe or in the Arab world. The INGO for me and for my organization is an opportunity for more uh, cooperation with the partners uh, think tanks or other institutions which are working in the area of democratization. I'm really, really looking forward to hear other countries' experience and what can be the role of civil society to influence our government, policies. When you have a room of 200 people who are committed to this idea that human rights and democracy are essential, that's really important for us to note. We need to have a young generation, the generation that will lead our countries in the future, which is perfectly knowledgeable on issues of human rights, anti-corruption, issues of living together through diversity. We make a strong connection between democracy, human rights, freedom of expression, and the capabilities of the web to really enable us to do what we want to, which is to advance progressive democratic societies in which citizens have uh, the, the opportunities to have their voices heard and to actually be involved in decision making. We look at our young people as full citizens, not only for skills to enter the job market, but also for the necessary skills to live and to, to maintain our societies democratic and even increase the levels of democracy and responsibility of each citizen in these societies.